Okay, that's enough introduced with the weird scary face. Hello and welcome to this video where I will talk about how I extract maps, textures, sounds and music from the original Unreal Tournament UT99. With this knowledge you will be able to create videos that look just as good if not better than my own animation. Let's begin by extracting a map, then some textures, the introduce, and finally some music and sounds. First, let us extract the map face. Go to your Unreal Tournament system folder and open the editor. Then open Capture the Flag face. Click on the little picture and then on the little arrow to see which texture packs the map uses. The map does not use each texture from all of these packs. But by extracting all the textures from each pack, you are sure to get what you need. Export it as a T3D file, which is your only export option. However, you will need to convert it into another format. Go to the UT99 Maps website and scroll down to Mapping Tools. Then download the T3D to OBJ Converter. Drag the map file onto the converter exe file and the conversion will begin. Now we have the map in the OBJ format with an MTL file which contains information about the textures. But we still need the textures for the map. For that we need a small program called UModel. I found several versions online not working on my computer but the one on this mega page did work. So this is the one I recommend. Now run it and choose your game directory for UT99. UModel now divides the files into three categories. Sound, system, files and textures. One of the texture packs our map face uses is the system file bot pack. This pack also contains 3D meshes for a lot of characters, weapons and pickups. There are quite a few packages in the texture folder that our map uses. And while I'm at it, I will extract the HD textures. It will take about half an hour to extract. This is time enough to make you a hot beverage or take a short walk. There are a few more packs to extract in the system folder. Now we got all the textures we need. The 3D software I use loads its textures from a folder called Text, short for textures. So I will make that folder and move the textures into it. Now when I run my 3D software, it places all the textures correctly on the map. But it does not know which properties to assign to the textures. 
For example, it thinks everything should be transparent, so I have to turn that off first. Each map is sculpted inside one or more boxes. You can choose to move the camera inside the boxes or delete the boxes. Let's go back to the botpack folder and look at those 3D models we extracted. They have a format called 3D. If you search for it online you should look for .3D files and you will be able to find converters for it. However, my experience with those converters is that they will screw up complicated models. So I won't use them. Instead, I'll delete them and find another program to extract the 3D models. Go to UT files and download UT package tool and then run it. And be patient. A moment passes before the program opens with a completely white screen. Go to file and then options. Then choose extracting and then choose a directory you want it to extract files into. If you don't have one, then make the folder first. When you're done with that, choose file and then open. Now find the Unreal Tournament package you want to extract and press OK. In this case, it is the bot pack we are looking for. Now click on export table and then classes to sort the different files into categories. You can find textures with this program too, but it will export the textures with an extended name, which makes it impossible for your 3D software to find the right textures automatically. All load mesh files are 3D models. And you can have a preview of the model by pressing view the mesh. Let's look for the intro dude. This is the intro boss. This is the one we are looking for. Extract the mesh as a 3D studio format. This mesh has a 3D sequence, but I just need the one model, so I'll tick all frames off and then I'll press OK. And as you see, it is now extracted in a format my 3D software can read. I will move it away and then I will show you what I mean by sequence. Look, it now has one file for each frame. Now let's open Introduce with the 3D software and help it find the right texture. In my case, you need to remove the skins and dot part, and then the software will do the rest. We extracted the HD textures, and I recommend using them. Have your materials look for the HD textures in the HD folder. Each HD texture is named HD in front of its name. So just write HD in the beginning of the name you are searching for, and then your 3D software will do the rest. This looks much better. If you need to use a texture that is not in HD, I recommend looking for a free online upscaler. There are several of them and it is usually free as long as it does not have to be upscaled to 2 or 4K. The difference of a low resolution texture and a regular HD is big enough to make it worth the trouble. When setting up your textures, remember to use the height and normal maps on the maps. The download link is in the doobly-doo. There's a texture that I haven't figured out what it is used for. The gold texture. If you find a 3D model that it fits, please let me know. 
If you're looking for the developer's trophy, you won't find it in the game. But there's a great guy who modeled it and shares it for free on this page. The trophy comes without text, but with a little work you can find the text online or just read it here or copy it from a doobly-doo and then you can embossed the text yourself. Now let's talk about sounds and music. In your Unreal Editor, press the speaker icon. From here you can play sound files from the selected sound package. Dominating. Engage according to operational parameters. And you can export each sound as a WAV file. Press the music node to access the music of the map. On this map, the music track is named Foregone. If you experience no sound or music when using the editor, just open your Unreal Tournament game. Turn up the volume, quit it, and try with the editor again. Now it should work. You can export the music as S3M files, but it's not a format that I'm familiar with. Let us open some sound and music files with the Unreal Tournament package tool instead. And again, be patient every time you open this program. Open a music track. And as it shows you, just like in the editor, you can only export as S3M files. If you open a sound package, each sound can be played individually or all at once, but you can't stop it again. It will play them all and it will likely crash in the process. Dominating. So don't play more than one at a time, but you can extract all at once. It will export as WAV format. This is all the sounds I extracted. If you go to your Unreal Tournament music folder, each track can be played by your own music player, or at least Winamp can. When playing this track, Winamp will show you the track's title, not the name of the file. But if you are going to use the music in an editing program, you will probably need to convert the UMX file into something else, something as MP3. You can use a free website to do it, but remember that the track will lose some information in the conversion process. The title has been lost and the original track has some information that makes it loop in a certain way, which explains the difference in duration. But I rarely experience this phenomenon of the difference in duration. Now let's try U-Model for the audio extraction. Locate your Unreal Tournament folder. As you see, I can only choose sounds. And when I export it, it is nowhere to be found. That is it. Be creative and happy editing. If you would like to see more of my Unreal Tournament animation skills, then take a look at my UT99 intro remake and remakes. That animation was a reason for me to learn all of this. If you watch it, try and find my face in the video. You will probably have to pause it to notice it. The music does sound a lot like the original, but it is actually a remix. See if you can notice it. I hope you will enjoy it.